exhibition module really had its origins about probably about seven years ago uh, when we were planning the new Canadian War Museum. Well, July 1974 was a very important uh, time in the mission, which began in 1964. There was a, a, a crisis on the island, uh, which uh, caused the peacekeeping mission to develop into uh, full-blown combat. And the Canadians on the island, about 450 at that time, were caught in the middle. And uh, there were a number of options open to them, uh, but uh, the one that they chose was to uh, evacuate civilians, uh, negotiate these fires and generally prevent the uh, the conflict from spiraling further out of control and that's why we decided to highlight the uh, that experience as uh, uh, one of the key uh, episodes in the history of Canadian peacekeeping It was July 23rd, 1974 and I'd been appointed driver for the operations officer Captain Norman Blaquier We were at Camp Kronberg and a Turkish patrol had invaded our camp Captain Blaquier talked to the Turkish soldiers and asked them if they would agree to leave the camp if we escorted them to the other side of the Pedios River, which was at the end of the camp. The Turkish soldiers said yes. So I made sure that all the Turkish soldiers were ready to cross the river. And when Norman, Captain Blaquier, said go, we all crossed together. But what we didn't know was that there was a Greek observation post keeping an eye on the river. And when they saw the Turkish soldiers crossing, they opened fire. Naturally, everyone dropped to the ground in the river. Not long afterwards, Norman said, I can't feel my leg anymore. I think my leg is broken. I crawled over to Captain Blaquier and saw that he had taken a bullet in the leg. So I took my knife, cut open his combat pants, took out my field dressing, performed whatever first aid I could, and stopped the bleeding. Not long afterwards, some soldiers came along and realized that there had been an action in the river. Then one said, Pluff, that's my name, Pluff, is everything okay? And when I raised my head, unfortunately, to answer, him, a bullet hit my helmet and then ricocheted into my jaw. At the time, I didn't realize it was a bullet. I thought it was a rock that had hit me. But then I had a strange feeling in my mouth, so I spit and the bullet fell into my hands, along with pieces of tooth. So then what I did, I tossed the teeth, but I put the bullet in my pocket. And I remember telling Captain Blaquier that they should have fired from the other side because I had a rotten tooth on that side already. I kept the helmet and the bullet at home for X number of years. And then I realized one day or other, it's going to get lost. Who would it go to someday? And I said to myself that the next generation might not have the same values as we did. So I decided to donate my personal effects including my medals, the helmet, and the bullet, so that at least it would not be lost, and so that it might one day tell my story, and the story of the first commando unit in Cyprus in 1974.